Imagine being able to install a wind turbine on the roof of your house and generate your own energy. I know it may seem strange, but these turbines are already available for sale and there is a good chance that our landscapes will be taken over by windmills. But don't be scared, no. I'm talking about a new generation of compact wind turbines, which take up twice as much space as solar panels and are extremely efficient. But do these mini wind turbines really represent a threat to the solar sector? That's exactly what I'm going to talk about in today's video. So, come with me. Did you know that some wind generators for domestic use are already being sold, which could be a great solution for the renewable energy market? One of them is Avatar, the small wind turbine developed by the Indian company Avantgarde, and it could be about to compete with photovoltaic panels. That's right, you heard it right. Just to give you an idea of the relevance of this invention, it has already been chosen by the UN, among 200 other projects, as the most innovative. The Avatar wind turbine has a shape that resembles a regular wind turbine, but in a mini version, measuring approximately 3 meters in diameter and weighing 72 kilograms, which makes it ideal for homes, commercial properties, and rural areas. Just to give you an idea, the total weight of a conventional wind turbine is around 330,000 kilograms. The difference is huge, isn't it? And now for the most interesting part, how much energy can this mini turbine generate? Being able to generate energy during the night or during the day, the Avatar turbine has the advantage of generating energy 24 hours a day in the presence of winds, unlike solar panels. For the cost of $889, you can have your own wind turbine. It has 1,000 watts of installed power and voltage of up to 230 volts. Per day, the turbine is capable of generating 5 kilowatt hours at 5.5 meters per second, which is equivalent to approximately 150 kilowatt hours per month, a value corresponding to 50% to 100% of the consumption of a conventional home. But there are other more powerful models. The wind turbine sold by the company Avatar Avatar 3, with 3,000 watts of power, which produces 450 kilowatt hours per month and costs $2,430. And Avatar 5 with 5,000 watts, which is the largest of them and costs around $20,000. And this one produces 750 kilowatt hours per month. These turbines have a very low maintenance cost, dispensing with periodic cleaning. In addition, the manufacturer provides a two-year warranty and their useful life can reach 25 years, the same useful life as photovoltaic panels. And when it comes to installation, these turbines can be installed easily and in a short space of time, requiring little space, or you can even use a small roof to install them. The efficiency level of these innovative and small wind turbines is above average when compared to other options sold on the market. Just to give you an idea, a mini wind turbine occupies only one-third of the area of a solar plant with the same power, and this is one of its great benefits. As mentioned previously, this turbine can generate energy 24 hours a day, while solar panels only provide electricity during the day. So, in fact, this could be a perfect match between the two renewable sources thus reducing the intermittency that exists when we talk about solar energy. In other words, the ideal would be to combine the two technologies. In fact, some manufacturers of these turbines have this strategic objective of combining the two solutions through a partnership, since each of these energy sources has its own particularities. You have probably heard of hybrid systems that use different energy sources in the same project. This could be a great solution for solar and wind energy to work together. In this way, these residential wind turbines that are emerging on the market such as Avatar have more potential to become an ally of solar energy than a competitor, and they will, in fact, bring even more opportunities to our photovoltaic solar energy sector. And this is a consolidated sector, with several solutions such as solar tiles and the maintenance market, for example. And now, tell me here in the comments, what did you think of this idea? Is the future solar energy combined with wind energy? 
Leave your comments here and see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you everyone. Thanks. I'm gone.